Hi Tim. I'm going to illustrate this process using Lars' computer, which is connected to mine in target disk mode, the same way you would connect Kara's to yours. Lars' computer shows up on my computer as Macintosh HD, with the little yellow Firewire icon to the left of it. I also have an external disk, which is also connected by Firewire, that's an old 320 gigabyte Mac store that I have. It shows up here as Mac Store 320. If you have a USB drive, I think you said you have a terabyte, and you plug that in. As long as you have 250 gigabytes free, because I think you said that was the size of Kara's startup disk, then you should be able to copy her entire startup disk to a disk image that you'll create on the external hard drive. The first thing you'll need to do is go to your Applications folder and the Utilities subfolder and open Disk Utility. There it is. So now that it's set up here, you can see again this is Laura's computer. She only has an 80 gigabyte hard drive in hers. This is my external drive, which is 320 gigabytes. What you can do is you can go to that external drive and then you can go to File and say New Blank Disk Image. Make sure you tell it that you want to create that file on your external hard drive, not on Kara's disk, not on your startup disk, but on the external drive where you have space. And then give it a name. I'm going to call it Laura's disk. You can see I tried this once before and created one called Kara's disk just to make sure it worked. I rehearsed before I recorded this. Now select a size make it a custom size, and set the size in gigabytes to be the same size as the drive you're trying to copy. In my case, since Laura's drive is only 80 gigabytes, I'll only have to make it 80, but you would need to make it bigger. Now, if I actually do this at 80 gigabytes, you're going to spend about 30 minutes watching the screen not move, because this is going to take a really long time to create that disk. So instead, I'm going to make this 100 megabytes, which is way too small, but I'll be able to use that just to illustrate how this works. You can leave all the rest of these options alone, and then you can click Create. This will create a disk image on your external hard drive, and it will mount that disk image. And Mac OS X will treat it as though it were a physical disk, even though it's not. So here's that disk image, and notice that Mac OS X thinks it looks just like a real physical disk, except for the fact that it has a different icon and it's below this horizontal line. It will otherwise behave just like it were a real physical hard drive. So if you click on it and you select the Restore tab, and then you grab the drive that you're trying to copy, in this case Lars disk, and you drag it to the source line here, and then you take the disk image that you've created and drag that to the destination line, eventually. or not. Okay, just drag something else there. Apparently Mac OS X is too smart to allow me to drag a small disk image over here. Do not actually drive your ex drag your external drive over here. Just drag the disk image, the one that you've created to be big enough to fit over here. I checked it earlier, it does work. Then click Restore. It's going to ask you if it's okay to erase everything on that disk, but in your case, it will only be the disk image, not the whole external drive, not the one terabyte drive. In my case, I'm going to say no way, and I'm going to cancel because I do not want to erase everything on my external drive. But if you went ahead and clicked erase on the disk image, then about 12 hours later, you'll probably have a complete bootable copy of Kara's hard drive. This will store everything, including the imperfect, imperfect and screwed up files, but it will make restoring to a new hard drive that you install on her laptop a lot easier. I hope this helps. Talk to you later. Bye. Love you.